Exactly. I'm hoping Warren Buffett's going to be at the premiere, and he is definitely not in the movie. Well, now again, because you, Vince Gilligan, you could go, <laughs> you can go in any direction you want. Where you can have flashbacks, you can have moments of dreaming. You could do whatever you want to that bring anybody true. back to life. You could do have you, a dance sequence. Yeah. You could have a da- now. That sure. would be kind of odd. Yeah. That would be very David Lynch of you to do something <laughs> like that. Be. You know. <laughs> Why is Warren Buffett going to be there? Because he's cool. Warren Buffett is like one of the biggest fans of Breaking Bad out there. Are you serious? Oh, for sure. For real. Warren is uh, is awesome. And uh, he visited the set uh, in our final season. Uh, we shot a little video for his uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, annual shareholders meeting. Right. And I think it was 2013, and, and we got to know him. I got to know him at that point, and I've been to his, my girlfriend Holly and I have been to his annual meeting every year since in Omaha. And it's awesome. It's like this amazing party. Uh, and he's just cool. Tell me the video for Berkshire Hathaway. It was, was. They, they do a funny video every okay. year uh, right. at, the, at the meeting, and the shareholders love it. Right. And this one was Breaking Bad related in that Walt and Jesse are cooking in their RV, cooking meth. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, take that back. Cooking peanut brittle because okay. Warren uh, and Berkshire Hathaway own Seas Candy. And <laughs> Warren Buffett shows up in a Heisenberg hat and says, I want to buy you out. I'm cornering the market on peanut brittle, and I want to, I want to buy you out and take over. Yeah. And so uh, Warren's in it interacting with the Walt and Jesse who are in their cook suits in the middle of the desert. We shot it with the real RV and the real props and all that. And then at the end of the, uh, the it's like, a, like an eight-minute video, and then at the end of it, Charlie Munger is dressed like Jesse Pinkman, and he says, brittle bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Look up Charlie Munger if you don't know. He's he's about uh, I don't know 93, 94 years old. Right. Smart as a whip. One of the richest men in the sure. world. Yeah. Uh, along with Warren Buffett. And when he, I, I, the story I heard was when he got the script, he said, "What in the hell does this mean? What am I, what am I saying? Why do I have to dress like a clown?" You know. He was <laughs> But, but he, he was game. It. He was game. He did it. Was the brittle blue? Was the peanut brittle blue? No, it was. Okay. I think it was C's uh, peanut okay. brittle, which well, is which is. You're uh, trying to be on brand for the company. Oh yeah, I oh, understand yeah. that. There was no drug references in this. Okay. I have to say, it was very clean, very very G-rated for the family, except for the the word bitch. Wow, that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's Vince amazing. Gilligan here on the Rich Eisen show. The most so get some other people that came up to you and said, "Man, I love Breaking Bad." That was really surprising to you. Like, obviously, out of the Warren Buffett world that you couldn't believe was, okay, you know, the stuff that I'm throwing out there. I was, I was eating lunch at one point with my, uh, uh, with my agent, and this gentleman comes up and stands next to the table and says, I'm sorry, I never do this. I'm a fan of, of your show. And mm-hmm. I look up, and it's friggin' Kurt Russell. Okay. And I was just like, and I was stuck I was stuck somehow. It was like a little, I don't know how the arrangement was. I literally, it was like this with the mic in front of me. I couldn't stand up right. to shake his hand. And I was just like, uh, and I was so blown away. Kurt Russell, who's like the coolest guy who ever lived. And him coming up and saying that, it just, to this day, I'm thinking, did I dream that? Did that actually happen? And then he was gone. It was like I shook his hand and, and then he was like, and it was like that was that was uh, a true highlight. That's cool. But that was uh, that was tremendously awesome. You're, so, you're such a nice guy, Vince, because you could pretty much work with whoever the hell you want in, in this town. You could pretty much like, hey, I've got this idea, and then that person would say, okay, I'm in. I mean, because of what you've proven, your track record is just amazing. Well, thank you for saying. I, you are welcome. No, seriously. I better start thinking of some ideas then. Better, well, better stop uh, riding the Breaking Bad gravy train into the ground. Yeah, better, I mean, better come up with something new. No, you're, you're, I mean, and, and I can't wait to, again, I can't wait to see this. It's El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. I'm just so honored, Vince, that, that I can call you uh, a friend. Absolutely. E- email you and just basically say, hey, how about you come back in? I'm so glad I fanboyed you in, in an airport about eight years ago. <laughs> that was, like I was the Kurt Russell of that, ex- that, that, that was, exchange. You know what? I, I should have told that story instead of Kurt no, Russell's story. No, stop. Come on. And by the way, uh, everyone in this in LAX, because he's rich, is not going to say this. He comes over to me and he <laughs> says, I just, I love Breaking Bad. And and meanwhile, the guy at the Southwest Gate or Delta or wherever yeah, it was right. is like, we're on the we're on the six yard line, and we're above. <laughs> this guy is so desperately tap dancing away on the mic to to get Rich to even look at him, and and everyone, and I'm so tuned out. Everyone, I look over and everyone's staring over this way, and they're, every single one of them's looking at Rich, and the guy is freaking out so much. <laughs> He's such a fan, dude. And then, meanwhile, you're you're uh, being so nice to me. Oh my and gosh! It was that was a that was a, a, the best time I ever spent in LAX. Well, which is not, <laughs> not a high bar, I grant you, but 
Yeah, that was fun. Vince, you're the best, man. And uh, I can't wait to see on Friday uh, the first thing I do. I'm going to be over in London. Susie and I are going to go there. We're as soon as this thing drops because it's internationally available too we're going to be all over it day and date uh and netflix has been great i love them to watch it on netflix but if you can see it in a movie theater here sure in the united states only in the u.s this thing is a movie it is meant to be it was shot on the area 65 it's got uh it's got the atmos dolby atmos sound it's it's uh dolby okay. vision it's gorgeous to look at not because of me but because of my dp marshall adams it is a movie if you can see it in a movie theater uh, do by all means because well, it, it looks awesome. Well, then I hope um, certainly next time you come back here, we'll be talking about an Oscar nomination. How about uh, that? I don't, I don't know That's, about that. No, this, I, I, I would love it. I, you deserve it. You deserve it, Vince Gilligan. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.